Hey, what's going on, everybody? In this video, we're going to be doing a review for a ebook that I read for the Irish Readathon. Uh, the links to the host for that readathon will be down below. Um, but, the, anyways, for one of the challenges, which was um, to read a book on Irish history, I was originally going to read Wars of the Irish Kings here. Um, but this turned out to be actually an anthology of primary source material um, in Irish history which I just didn't want to read this month, um, to be honest. So when I was at the thrift store and I saw How the Irish Saved Civilization by Thomas Cahill, I picked it up um, and I read this one instead. Now, this is actually a pretty famous popular history book um, from the mid 90s, I believe. But yeah, I'm not really sure why, to be honest. Um, basically, the author um, has taken a bunch of eras throughout history and he has kind of they're kind of loosely based together and they're, it's the series is called like hinges of history um, or something similar but uh basically he wants to go out and show that if it wasn't for the Irish in the like the middle ages basically we would all be a bunch of dumb barbarians still or something uh, I guess yeah it's, it's a little more complicated than that but to be honest half of the book I had no idea what what I was re I mean I knew what I was reading but I mean I had no idea like what it had to do with anything um, it's only about three quarters of the way through the book that you even get to the uh, his whole argument of why how the Irish actually saved civilization and that's basically the learned monks at the, the famous Irish monasteries in the early Middle Ages um, were the ones doing most of the transcribing of the classical texts um, from the Greco-Roman world and because of that um, they were able to be preserved for posterity to you know read and learn from them and you know adapt them and all that sort of stuff but um, like I said it's literally probably three quarters or at least two thirds of the way through the book before that's even um, hinted at and there's also the whole argument that, well, yeah, the Irish kind of did that, but so did, you know, a lot of the other continental uh, uh, monasteries as well. But also the Byzantine Empire basically ran the show on that to, for the most part. Um, the Byzantines probably copied just as much, if not more, than the Irish did. So the whole argument of basically the Irish alone saving civilization is kind of kind of weird to be honest um and i felt the text got bogged down quite a bit with a lot of these sort of monastic retellings of like the lives of the saints such as saint patrick and saint columbanus and um all those guys it's uh, the later generations of uh, monastic scholars that do a lot of the transcribing of these greek and latin texts so it's kind of weird having like a giant chapter on like basically a retelling of the life of saint patrick um but yeah, I mean, a lot of those book, I really didn't know what the point was. Like, there's a, there's only I think seven or eight chapters in a, one of the earlier chapters, like the second or third one, is basically just a whole chapter dealing with um, the attitudes of the Irish in, basically pre-medieval times, um, which he does by describing the cattle raid of Cooley which, if you guys don't know, is uh, where the legend of Coo Cullen is most famous from. Um, but yeah, I had no idea like what that had to do with much of anything, to be honest. Uh, basically, he did really good with the title because I think that it's really, you know, it's really catchy, and I think that's what helps <laughs> spurt it on quite a bit. Um, but yeah, to be honest, I, I just thought the book was kind of silly. I mean, I learned a little bit, but uh, overall, it was just... I don't know, it was just all over the place, and then the whole argument of, you know, the Irish monks were the only ones transcribing stuff, he even admits that's not really true, so it's just kind of, you're kind of just left going, well, what was the point of all this? But, uh, anyways, I mean, it's written okay, there's nothing really wrong with the writing style, and it's not super dry, except for the sections on, like, for example, like I said, the, the life of St. Patrick through all the other lives of the uh, famous Irish saints, and, like, you know, the, what? fifth and sixth centuries um eight, uh ce so you know uh to be honest i'm only giving the book two stars just because i felt like i really didn't learn enough for the amount of time i spent reading it uh fortunately it's really not that big of a book so it wasn't a, a huge drag but like i said um i'm not really sure why it's so popular but anyways two stars for how the irish save civilization
Um, if you guys have read it and you guys liked it more, just uh, leave some comments down below so I can see like your review points, I guess. Because uh, it does have a pretty big following, and like I said, it was a pretty big bo uh, selling book, especially um, in the early or the mid 90s. But anyways, always remember, read victoriously.